Alright, hello YouTube. Today I will be making a tutorial for an application for the uh, yeah, DSi and 3DS systems called Petit Computer. What it does is it's actually it's actually pretty cool. If you don't know what the application is, you can just click on this video. It lets you program in a modified version of the programming language basic. It's, it's actually it, it looked really fun to play with so I got it and I learned a little bit. I'm gonna share what I learned. Alright, so I'm gonna teach you how to make the Hello World program. And it's basically what every programmer first learned to do. It will take some sort of text input and beat it to you. So let's go to write program. Yeah, you get the console screen. It's go to edit mode. All right. So now we have our blank thingy. All right. So the first thing we wanted to do was to take the input. Well, actually, no. The first thing we wanted to do was print the text out. But it's already doing this for us. If I do input, input, we can put a quote mark in, which, and whatever's between the two quote marks I'm going to put in, it will print. So we're just going to do something like, you know, what is your name? Yeah, and then we gotta close that. All right, now it's gonna print that. But now we want to take an input, and also putting that. You know, if you're wondering why there's no question mark when I put this semicolon in, it'll automatically put one in because that means we're gonna take a variable. And usually, when you're asking, you know, you want some sort of variable input, you're asking a question, so it automatically does it for you. And then we want to name the variable. What's this variable gonna be called? So we can refer to it later. I'm gonna call it name. And since it is, you know, going to be text and not, you know, numbers, we want to put the little dollar sign after it there. And then if I run that now, it'll just do, okay, what is your name? I'm going to say I. And it's going to end it. Because, okay, it, we just, all it wanted to do, since I was only one line of code, it just, all right, give me, give me a variable. Give me a variable for name. And that's what it did. Since we didn't ask it to do anything with that, it did nothing, obviously. So I go back to edit. Now, since we wanted to repeat it to us, next part is very easy. We'd go print, and if you don't want to take any input, you just do the print, and then you know the parentheses things. But since this is a variable, we don't need the parentheses. Ah, parentheses. So what we're gonna do now is go print name with the dollar sign. You cannot forget the dollar sign. It is important because if you, you forget the dollar sign, it's just gonna say zero. So we, let's run it. You. And see it repeated it. You. Uh, but say you want to put this in, you know, with, in with other text. So it would go like this. Print. Okay. And we'll put in a comma. And now since we want to include the variable in this text, we would put in, uh, I mean, wow. Am I getting this confused? Quote mark. Oh, no, but semicolon. Sorry, Skype is, inter Snipe, Skype is interrupting me. Hold on. All right, there we go. Semicolon. Ugh. Name. Dollar sign. Don't forget the dollar sign. Those little, but, like, flare syntax or zero here. Name. And then close another colon. And since we're not writing any more text, we don't need to put another semi uh, quote mark and that is it and if we run that look what it does my name is G okay G and that's it all right that was this you know tutorial very simple program how to make hello world you know only two lines of code Let's see <laughs> there you go all right and I will probably make more videos on that you know that cover more things I'm probably, we're probably gonna build this hello world thing so I want to save it and if you don't know how to save, because it doesn't, you know, just randomly tell you off the bat, I'll show you to save a program. You would go save, or there's a thing up here, and then you could put the quote, uh, quote mark. Wow. And then we would we have to do P R G, which means we're saving it as a program, and then a colon, and then the name of it. So I'm just gonna do tut for tutorial, and then we put in another quote mark. Enter. It's gonna ask us, you want to save it? And it makes that weird sound and it's saved. 
and that's it. Alright guys, hope you enjoy this and hope it helped.